Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Excited you're with me as always. We got a good one today. We're talking about the Garmin Phoenix 8, which I've had for about a month now, versus the Apple Watch Ultra and why this Apple guy is falling in love with this device. Without any secrets, you know, this channel is about use case and what I've been doing to help me either train or become more proficient, whether we're using the Remarkable Paper Pro. And really, I just get to the, to the point. So yes, I, I just don't even think there's any comparison between the Apple Watch Ultra and the Garmin Phoenix 8. First of all, ease of use. Um, I was running a half marathon, and many of you know I started in April. I got a new channel that I'm, I'm putting together as a vlog of my marathon training. I'm working on a goal of a 321 Indianapolis Marathon to qualify for Boston. I started training in April, uh, really started running then, and I, I ran an hour and 40 minute hilly uh, half marathon. And halfway through, I couldn't get the Apple Watch to work. Like it was working, I was using Nike Run Club, and it was just a disaster. And so I said, I need a professional device. Like I'm training and I'm starting to do uh, track work. And so this thing just works. It's like you press a button, you press run. I'm not even using the workouts feature and all that. And it just, it works. Like the GPS connects and it just works so much better uh, than the Apple Watch. And that's the first thing. And the second thing I would tell you that I just absolutely love is the Garmin Connect. I'm using Garmin Connect and Strava. Again, I'll put my Strava link down below. Um, I, I, I like to, I don't need a bunch of apps, right? With this thing, you got to get a bunch of different apps, Nike Run Club and a bunch of other stuff to get the data. This thing gives you so much data. I'm in love with it. I am getting a chest strap because I do a lot of zone two training and heart rate training as I'm doing 50 miles a week, 60 miles. So I'm, I'm really falling in love with this as just such more of a professional device. Um, the second thing I'm gonna tell you, which I think is just gigantic, or the third thing really, because I said ease of use, the data, the training, is the buttons. Like I don't even know, I mean, I don't use the, the I don't even turn on the face on this uh, device, you know, where you, you, know, you gotta try to push the screen. You know, in cold weather, I was running my sprints and this lap button right here is just absolutely, unbelievable like it's just unbelievable the lap the, the lap button like so i'm running and then i just hit my lap and I, I just don't even know how to you know figure that out with the apple watch so as a professional training device it's just there's just absolutely no comparison i mean just like i said the speed work and the lap button uh were just unbelievable and of course battery life i mean i i don't i mean everybody that reviews these watches i have to literally charge this every night I don't, I don't hardly ever charge this thing. Like right now it's got like 15 days of battery. And the last thing I want to be thinking about when I drive down Indianapolis is did I charge my watch? Do I have my charger with me? And am I going to be uh, needing that? So battery life is huge. Uh, the other thing is form factor. I actually like it. I got the big 52 mil and I like it. It fits good. Uh, I did have a problem, if you've watched my video where I got a rash, I believe that was from the nickel, and basically what I do now is I shower afterwards and clean this really good, and every time I shower, I leave this out, and I also went to a cloth band, but I went to silicon, and I have no problem. I kind of like this band. I did spend $40 on this band to help with that, but no, I'm totally healed up. So something weird happened, and I don't know if it was, the, so a couple of people said nickel or whatever, you saw that video, but since then, I've had no problems. And the watch just fits. I mean, it just fits good. I can see everything clear. I have all my data and training. Uh, I just, I, I love the form factor. I actually like a big watch. I've always had a big watch, so it works for me. Um, the other thing that I think is really important is people say, well, what about your connectivity to the phone? Well, I carry my iPhone 15 Pro Max with my way of life shorts. My shorts have a pocket. This whole phone fits in there. It's not, it's comfortable as heck. I love way of life. I know they're expensive. You know, they're, they're distance shorts about 130 bucks. You can get, you can find coupon codes for 10, 20% off on YouTube. So, you know, 110 bucks. But man, I can put my gels in them. I fit this in there. So I don't need a, a watch. I don't need a watch that's connected because I have my phone with me all the time. So that's really important. Uh, the other thing that the Apple Watch doesn't have is this. I use this thing more than you can even imagine. I never thought that I would use a flashlight uh, on a watch, but it is really handy. You're getting your keys out or trying to you know, work with your keys. It works really well. So the Apple, it just doesn't even come close to being a training tool uh, that you need. I mean, I could wear it in the office once in a while, but I've literally got it down to a science where 
I do my training basically and I'll do my running and I'm running almost every day, obviously, because I'm trying to get this 321 Boston qualified and, and you know, just starting in April. Uh, my 5K times are just at 21. I'm at seven minutes. I'm doing track work now and sprints. I'm doing weightlifting. Uh, so I'm doing some workouts two times a day. At 55 years old, it's a lot of work and I need a professional tool, right? I'm training as a professional. Uh, I'm putting in three to four hours a day. Typically, my long runs can be, you know, 15, 20 miles. Working heart rate. Again, I'm going to get the chest monitor because I do want to make sure that heart rate's accurate as I continue to work on my pacing. And you can follow that at my JB Glossinger vlog. I'll link that down below or on Strava because I'm I'm documenting all the things that I'm using, even though this is a tech channel. So there is no comparison. I mean, I, I get it that a lot of people wear this thing, but I, I don't even know in cold weather, like, you know, how you would hit the buttons. I don't even turn on the face touch screen on this. I don't even use it. I just absolutely love the buttons. I've gotten it down, like, subconsciously where it's going. And I'm not even using the workouts yet. Like, when I'm doing my, my running, I'll hit running and laps, and it's working out great. I know I can build workouts, and my coaches sent them over, but uh, in not an Excel spreadsheet, not in Garmin. But it's just, I mean, it's just so many things. So ease of use, number one, it just works. Like on this channel, that's why I like the Remarkable and I like the iPad. I like things that just work. Yes, this just works, but not for the serious training that I'm doing. Uh, the second thing is the buttons. I, I just love the buttons. Like I said, uh, doing speed work at a track, I don't even know how you would do that here, but that lap button, you know, I do that 400 as fast as I can. I come around, boom, hit that lap button, do a little rest walk around a little bit, then bam, do another 400, hit that lap button. I don't know how you would do that with anything else. It just works. Battery life is the obvious one that everybody says. It's just off the charts. Uh, form factor, I like it. It's big. You could get the 47 mil if you're not, you know, you don't want a bigger watch. Uh, the phone is with me because of my shorts. That's all I say. And this freaking flashlight is really awesome. So I am a guy that is all in on Garmin. I'm a Garmin person now. Uh, unfortunately, the Apple Watch goes uh, on the charger and maybe once in a while I'll pull it out, but I'm literally uh, wearing this 24 hours a day. Yes, I'm sleeping with it. I'm wearing the Whoop. I'm wearing the Aura. I'm gonna do some data research on it as far as HRV and how it's recording compared to the Whoop to the Aura. So if you like that stuff, subscribe to the channel. Wanna follow my marathon journey? Click down below. There's a link to my vlog where I'm getting into running if you're a running specific person. But definitely, I, this feels more like a toy, and this feels like a tool. What do you think down below? Let me know your thoughts. And you know, are you training? You know, are you training with the Garmin? And and what do you think? Because I, I got to tell you, as somebody, this you know, this worked for me for April and May until the half marathon. It screwed up, and this is just a night and day difference. Night and day difference. But I'd love to hear from you in the comments. A like if you like the video, and obviously subscribe if you like cool tech ideas and fun stuff. Right to the point. All right, thanks for watching. Until the next video, go have a great day. You got any questions on the Garmin, let me know. I'm getting ready to put it on. I had my training day today, so I'm resting a little bit. Tomorrow, I got a long day. Go have a great one. We'll see you in the next video.